Well, good evening, friends, and today we're just going to do a quick little two-minute video on a platen installation on a Olympia SM3. Um, you guys know these shims that go on the inside of this platen. Um, sometimes they can be a pain in the butt to to mess with to get them right in the position that you need. So I'm just going to show you guys my way of doing it. Um, I like using strings a lot <laughs> in my typewriter repair for pulling on springs and doing all sorts of things, but um, this will let, lets you dangle it right in the where it needs to be and then you slide that platen rod through and once you just get a little bit of the, the platen rod into that into that ring you can go ahead and pull this string out and I'll show you guys what I do is I'll just stick it in there you don't have to worry about it falling down because you know you got a you got it on a string so once you get a little bit through there you can get the platen rod in there. And then now you can just pull this string out. Let me make sure I just grab the one, one end of the string. Wink, like that. And then you can just go ahead, oops, sorry, I fell on the camera. Go along with your regular, regular platen rod installation. Like so, and adjust it and set it down. So I don't know if you guys can see inside there, but. Yeah, we got the, the shim inside there. So yeah, just make a necklace, shim it up. All right, guys, Hot Rod Tiebird Company. This is your quick Olympia tip of the day.